So today I was going to go over head tubes and headsets. I have three different mountain bikes here that all have different head tubes and therefore different types of headsets. So let's start off with the Diamondback hook over here. So the Diamondback hook is an older frame. It's a, I think it's a 2015 aluminum frame with an integrated head tube. In this case, it uses the FSA number 11. There are no cups pressed into the head tube. The head, the bearings go straight into the head tube with no cups needed. So it ends up giving you this really flush look right here. There's no bearings, no cups sticking out. It looks very flush, very clean. And you can only use one and one eighth straight steer tube forks with that one. The middle one, it's kind of like a hybrid. It's not integrated, but it is a 44 millimeter head tube and it's flared. If you look closely, it kind of goes like an hourglass. So it's flared at top and bottom. So the thing with this head tube is that you can use different headsets and you can use either a straight one and one eighth straight steer tube fork or you can use a one and one eighth to 1.5 inch tapered fork, which is what's on the bike right now. Here we have your standard tapered head tube. And those are easily identifiable because they kind of go like a bell. They look like a bell. So at the bottom, they are, they have a 56 millimeter internal diameter. And on the top, they have a 44 millimeter internal diameter just like the top of well top and bottom of this one has so this is what you're going to get with most modern bikes that are made for tapered fork so these bearings again they're internal bearings and you can see a very thin cup that's pressed into the top pressed into the bottom when you see a headset that says zs that stands for zero stack the cups go pressed into the head tube and the bearing is inside the head tube no external cup and the cups would look like this with their corresponding bearings okay so the outer diameter of this cup is 56 millimeters so you'll see it'll say 56 millimeter and 44 millimeter for the top so when you look at a headset for any standard tapered head tube it'll be a 44 56 for a 1 and 1 8 to 1.5 taper So if you look closely at the Venso, let's look at the middle one since it's kind of like a hybrid So you see the flare and you notice that there's an external bearing cup here on the top You can see that it's an internal cup with an internal bearing Originally, I had a straight steer tube here. So these cups matched the cup that was here before was inside and the bearing was inside the tube and I would put the straight steer tube there. So the bad thing is that when you do this, it fits, it works, but you have that distance. You add that much to the stack. Now let's talk about your standard one and one eighth straight steer tube. So unlike the Diamondback hook that I showed, which has an integrated headset, there are no cups. The bearings just go right into the head tube. This one is more old school. This is something you would find on older bikes. This is something you would fight, find on some of the cheaper modern bikes that have a non-tapered one and one eighth steer tube and suspension fork. Had this kind of headset where you have external cups. You press the cups into the head tube and then the bearings go on the outside. So for my old BMX, that one has a threaded fork, but yeah, those also come for threadless fork on the newer BMX and like I said on the cheaper or less expensive budget bikes or the older mountain bikes. So in summary, if you're going to have a mountain bike suspension fork, you have two choices. You have one and one eighth straight steer tube or a tapered one and one eighth to 1.5 inch steer tube. The 44 millimeter head tube can accommodate both with little drawback that it'll increase the stack height at the bottom there when you do put the outer bearing for the tapered in the tapered here 
is designed to accommodate, of course, a tapered fork. You can put a straight steer tube fork on a tapered head tube if you use an adapter for the crown race on the fork. And then rather rare, more specialized, you would have your straight steer tube with the integrated headset like the Diamondback hook. And again, the external cup straight steer tube you would see on older bikes or on some of the modern budget bikes that have the cheaper no brand forks like you would see at Walmart and Target and those kinds of places. The Schwinn though does come with a tapered head tube which is very nice. So hope that clears up some of the confusion. If it helped you out hit like, subscribe, leave some questions below. I will try to answer them and thanks for watching.